Okay, why the Tesla Semi will be better than anything that Peterbilt, KW, Volvo, International, or Freightliner makes. First, the most obvious thing, it'll be cheaper fuel. Electricity is way cheaper than diesel, even when you're buying diesel in bulk. The less money you spend, the more money you can make. Some drivers see this as see their well they see their truck as their home as their office but the main thing it is is a tool a tool for making money for someone and the less money you spend and the more money you make the better that tool will be another advantage is it's just simply quieter so it will allow a lot better communication when you're going through gates and security guards you can actually talk to the people and hear what they're saying you don't have to shut the engine down you will also be able to use your regenerative braking since it's much quieter in areas where there are plenty of signs that say unmuffled um, jake brakes or compression brakes not allowed, which is just something that 18 uh, wheelers use to slow the truck down. And usually those signs are in places where you need to be able to slow the truck down, like coming down a bridge or getting off the interstate on a, a tight ramp but usually it's too close to people's houses and they don't want you making a lot of noise so you would be able to use something like that in a place like that another reason it'll be better is better acceleration you have instant torque from zero and you cannot beat that i think most people know there's nothing worse than being stuck behind a loaded tractor trailer on the highway from stop at a, at a red light because it's going to take a while for that truck to get up to speed. Most people immediately move over to another lane if they realize they're going to be behind a stop truck. Possibly taking a 0 to 60 time for a semi from upwards of a minute and possibly cutting that in half. And a big reason why the Tesla semi would be better um, um, with regulations, you could potentially have a complete, completely different set of rules. Um, if the truck is driving itself on the freeway, then the driver could technically be off duty or in on or asleep in the back. And with the and with the truck doing its own driving for the long and mundane highway straight line, boring driving. That will leave the driver more rested and less stressed for when it comes time to take over and handle the city driving and the more complex tasks and backing. I can also see Tesla semi truck bringing the trucking industry into the 21st century. They've made small attempts. Now all trucks are required to have a digital logbook that are sold now, but. I mean, that's a really small step, and it's an obvious step that could have been made a long time ago. Um, one thing that happens in the trucking industry, there's a ton of paperwork. Everything is on paper. Nothing is standardized. There's no, it's, there's no emails. Like, it's, it's all paper, and it's, it's all waste. I think Tesla could put, a, put together a better system that would, that would get rid of a lot of that. In a normal semi-truck, the engine can be up six to seven feet in the air. And in the truck I'm in right now, the engine sits over my head, increasing the, um, the center of gravity. In the Tesla truck, the motors will likely be right in between the wheels. The battery will be nice and low. And in a Tesla semi-truck, you will have a lower center of gravity, and which would lead to better handling. Also, without the complex parts that are in that diesel engine, you will have a lot less maintenance. The semi with the Tesla, um, similar to the Tesla cars that don't require a lot of maintenance on the, the motors, um, a Tesla semi would also not need a whole lot of maintenance.